mystery jar time. Write down your guess. So the cool thing about this book is you're going to have to have your teacher, as you read the book, as I read the book, each page has uh, the number of wacky things that you have to find. So follow along with your teacher and make sure that they show you the wacky things that you can pick out and see if you can get all of them. So I'm reading the book Wacky Wednesday by Dr. Seuss. It all began with the shoe on the wall. A shoe on the wall shouldn't be there at all. Then I looked up and I said, oh man. And that's when Wacky Wednesday began. I looked out the window and I said, gee, more things were wacky. And I saw three. I went down the hall and I said, hey, Three more things were wacky today. In the bathroom more, in the bathroom four. I began to dress, then I said, wow, four more things were wacky now. I looked in the kitchen, I said, by cracky, five more things are very wacky. I was late for school all along. I saw that six things were wrong. And then seven more. And the Sutherland sisters, they looked wacky too. They said, nothing is wacky around here but you. But look, I yelled, eight things were wrong here at school. Nothing is wrong, they said. Don't be a fool. I ran into school. I yelled to Miss Bass, look, nine things are wacky right there in your class. Nothing is wacky here in my class. Get out. You're the wacky one. Out, said Miss Bass. I went out the school door. Things were worse than before. I couldn't believe it. Ten wacky things more. Then I counted eleven. Then twelve worse things. I got scared and I ran. I ran and knocked over Patrolman McGann. I'm sorry, Patrolman. That's all I could say. Don't be sorry, he smiled. It's that kind of day. But be glad. Wacky Wednesday will soon go away. Only twelve things more will be wacky, he said. Just find them and then you can go back to bed. Wacky Wednesday was gone when I counted them all, and I even got rid of the shoe on the wall.